Hey guys, welcome back to another video. All right guys, so today I have the brand new MGW Scudo Vector Wallet. Let's check it out. Alright guys, so you know I'm always on the lookout for new innovative type wallets. So when the guys over at MGW got a hold of me and said they have a brand new version of their very popular MGW Scudo wallet, I was very intrigued. Alright, so check this out. It's made from all 6061 aluminum, at least the lid and the base are. And then the hinge and the latch pin are all made from stainless steel. So this thing feels pretty substantial. It feels nice. And one thing the makers of this wallet want to point out is this is not a minimalist wallet. And it's not terribly big either. Look at it compared to my iPhone XS here. So it's not terribly huge, but they make three different bases here. This is just the 10 card version. And then they make two others right here, the 14 and 18 card versions, but I'll get to that a little later in this video. But even with this 10 card base, this only weighs in at 3.8 ounces. All right, so let's talk about this a little bit. The whole wallet is CNC machined down south in Augusta, Georgia. So if you guys like your wallets made right here in the good old US of A, you might wanna take a look at this. Also, if you guys are familiar with the MGW Scudo, you're gonna see that this is extremely different looking. Like I said, this is a brand new version called the Vector. And I do have a link that I'm gonna put in my description box to a temporary order page, because apparently this isn't on their normal site yet. But if you guys do wanna order this at the end of this video, uh, feel free to click that link. And I wanna show you a couple variations that they have with different designs on the front. And that's something else I wanna talk about, custom logos and the wraparound logos that look absolutely incredible. But this is why they call it the Vector because when you open it, it stops right there. The hinge has a stopping point, so it looks like a V. And they did this on purpose so when your cards are stuffed in there, they won't fly out everywhere if this flap comes all the way open for whatever reason. So um, it actually works really nice. I'm gonna show you how this works. Now, like I said before, if you guys can see down in there, this is the 10 card variant and there's also two other ones that are 14 and 18. I just so happen to have 10 cards right here. What you wanna do is a little stainless steel latch pin right there, just open it and then boom, take your cards and easily just put them right there in the base of this wallet and then just close it up. Now. Let's talk about something here. Yes, it is a case, okay? And if there's only 10 cards in there, it says it only holds 10 cards. There's a little bit of space in there and you guys all know how I feel about walking around and making all this noise, which I hate. But a nice, quick, easy solution to that is cash. You see, a little bit of space in there. So let's take out a couple bills. Let's just say three bills and fold it into quarters. Put it right there on top, close it up. Bam, noise gone. So I really like the cash carrying solution that this wallet provides. I got 10 cards in there. I got three bills and this wallet is no thicker than when I showed it to you with zero cards. It's not gonna get any thicker unless you put one of the other bases on there if you need more than 10 cards, which I personally don't. I only carry seven cards. So let's take three cards out of this thing. Put the three bills back in there still no noise. So now you're starting to see why I like this wallet so much. What Scudo wants you to do is when you open up the wallet here, say you want to get a card out of the middle. Now you can thumb through them as so, and it is actually pretty easy to do. And everything rests pretty nicely on the lid here. So if I want to get a card out of the back, I was just flipping it forward and grabbing that card out of the back, flipping it back forward like this, in closing the wallet is that it actually works really really nice so what if i want to get a card out of the middle just start thumbing through as you can see they fit pretty nicely in the lid of this pick this card up and bam i think this is an absolutely ingenious idea even though it's just a case um, i just like the idea behind this mgw scudo vector so i did mention it comes with different bases this is 10 cards this is the 14 card version and then you can see the biggest one of them all the 18 card version so if you carry 18 cards with you at all times and uh, need a nice solution for that that's not terribly big and bulky i think this might be a great solution for you so how easy is it to change out these bases well right there you see that little stainless steel pin that acts as the hinge what i was doing was i was using one of these little Allen wrenches that they give you. And it's as simple as loosening the Allen screw here. And let's do that, boom. And then taking that same Allen wrench and easily pushing out that pin, 
and then it's free. So 18 cards and it goes in like, like that. So I'm just gonna line up the hole, push that pin right back through there, just like that. Make sure it's even. So that looks pretty good. And let's put that Allen screw back in and tighten it back up. And there you go. So that's pretty darn easy to change out these bases if you guys wanna grab another base for your Scudo wallet. All right, so let's check out the 18 card claims of this base. Here's 10 right there. And then let's grab another eight more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's stuff those in there too. Okay, great. So there, <laughs> there you go, 18 cards. Wow, that is absolutely amazing. So 18 cards, close it up. Oh, well guys, my cards might be a little thicker because this is 18 cards. I'm having problems closing this latch. It's not completely latching into place here, as you guys can see. So if I take one of these cards out to make it 17, it closes perfectly. But that's not to say that this is wrong. It's just, you know, it all depends on the thickness of your cards. And these are flat cards. And I use these for demonstration purposes only, but they are kind of thick. All cards are different sizes. And um, I do have some thin cards, the ones I carry on a normal basis, on an everyday basis. Um, so I'm pretty sure that their claims of 18 cards is perfectly fine. With those 17 cards in there, let me put those three bills back in, cause yeah, making a little noise. So let's fold this back into quarters. Open this back up, put that in there and let's see what happens. Yeah, it still closes. So I have 17 cards in there, three bills, closes right back up. If you need to carry 18 cards on a daily basis, then this is a good solution. For me, I carry seven. So that's why I was rocking that 10 card base. And of course, with this being 6061 aluminum, all your cards in there will be RFID protected if you're worried about anyone trying to skim your information. Now, I'm sure you guys notice this nifty little crispy things logo that's etched in the top of this lid. But they wanted me to let you know if you wanted to do a custom logo like this, there is a minimum of 10 that you have to order. And this small logo, as you see here, is $76 for one wallet. So keep that in mind, $76, small logo, minimum of 10. But this wallet will be going for $88 with the full wraparound. And I'm gonna show you some pictures of the full wraparound etching right now. And it's absolutely gorgeous, some of these designs that they have. All right, check this one out here. So you can see that full laser etch design on the front that takes up the whole front of this lid. And that skeleton samurai is one of my favorites. That looks absolutely beautiful. And check this out. So we got like a fighter pilot um kind of the map of the globe some united states marine corps imagery and check this one out the grim reaper with the hourglass i mean that is beautiful and then we have this nice picture of a tiger and there's many many more so i'm going to leave the link below in my description box where it's a temporary order page and you can see all the current laser etch designs that they're gonna offer for this wallet. Also, they sell lids and bases separately. So say for example, I wanted to change out my Crispy Things lid for that incredible looking Grim Reaper, which I might do. Um, they sell them for $44 a piece. Same thing with the bases. The bases are $44. The lids are $44 and you combine them for $88 and uh, that would be the total price if you just wanna grab one fully assembled like this. All right, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. What do you guys think of the brand new MGW Scudo Vector wallet? Actually, I think it's a pretty unique design and I think they have a winner here. You can easily put cards in and out of this thing. I have no problem getting cards out of the middle like I do with some minimalist wallets. And I think they nailed the cash carrying solution on this thing because if I only have seven cards in here in the 10 card holder, I put cash in there in the front or the back, acts like padding. Once I close it up, it's solid as a rock. And once I put it in my pocket, yeah, it might be a little bit more substantial than some of the minimalist wallets that I carry, but this thing isn't gonna get any bigger or smaller based on what I have in here. This 10, that's the size of it. That 18, that's gonna be the size of it. So as long as you choose wisely which base you want, I think you're gonna be good to go. Also, this thing is gonna last you forever. There's no rubber bands, there's no elastic, there's no silicone to kind of stretch out and fray or break or whatever. This thing is made from aluminum, steel. I mean, once you guys get this in your hand, you're gonna know what I'm talking about. This thing is gonna last forever. And remember, I'm gonna leave a link in the description box below to where you guys can get your hands on one of these bad boys right now. But if you guys did enjoy this video, please give me that thumbs up. Please subscribe and go!